Hey there, everybody, this is the Gamer Dojo, and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones. In the last part, um, we got halfway through uh, the Zaha Woods, and in this part, we're gonna finish up the chapter with Ross killing a monster. Thank you very much, Ross. Thank you. Um, yeah. Nice. Basically, Comb. What is Comb gonna do? Oh, yes. So Gilliam, I think, yeah, Gilliam goes up and he's like, alright, I'm gonna hurt this guy. Miss. A zombie just did the Matrix against a knight. Whatever. Whatever. So, I, I'm completely stunned. Not really, actually. But, uh, name A will smash and some mash. Like I said, like I said before, the thing about why this chapter isn't very difficult is because... If you know forests, basically, you don't even need to think about anything. Because these monsters, the zombies, have no speed, and their attack is strong, but they literally have no speed. So you could always double them, and you could always basically kill them. They are very easy. And, and as long as you're not stupid about it, you can basically do this blindfolded. I mean, this chapter is pathetically easy. Yeah, I mean, it's not the oh perfect level up for Vanessa. Very happy. So, um, yeah, um, um, like I said, not a hard chapter. I right hear I'm checking levels, and I decide, you know, he's really high level, so let's go for Arthur. That was by accident. Um. <laughs> Yeah, so, I'm sorry I keep saying the same thing, but it's not a hard chapter. If you know what you're doing, you can do, like I said, you can just do this. This is, by the way, I think I'm going to show you what a voluntary does. I'm going to basically smack, oh, not yet. I'm like, oh, how far can he go? I'm going to smack Erica. Come on. Yeah, we know, we know. Yeah, sharpen DK and claw. And he can't reach you, so... I'm gonna stick Erica in that forest and break, use a Volinary for the first time, I think. Volinary's basically heal time. No ifs, ands, or buts. And I'm gonna stick F, uh, Franz there. And then turn. Or he's gonna hit Aime, which I think he does. Oh, no. Aime just keeps missing. It's incredible. Um. Oh, that monster's gonna go after it, which I think he does hit Erica. Owie. But. He's dead because he can't withstand uh, a hit of a hundred. Yeah, it's uh, pretty insane. I tell you what. So right now, I'm gonna finally get this person. Hmm. Petrificate petrifaction. Why would you be a revenant? Why are you just? Why are you drawing? Oh, this is loot. Mage of Su mage superior. And she read about these remnants, revenant, revenants, in chapter two, section seven, paragraph eight. Hmm. But yeah, basically, now I'm going to tell you finally about the. Oh, crap. Yeah, I'm finally going to tell you about the ma the magic triangle. The magic triangle consists of light magic, dark magic, and anima magic. Which is what loot uses. Fire, thunder, ice. That's anima magic. The triangle goes light beats dark, dark beats anima, and anima beats light. It's weird. It's pretty difficult to figure out. I might have actually gone it wrong, but I don't think I did. But I think that's it. Anima beats light, light beats dark, dark beats anima. It's not that hard a triangle to figure out. But, uh, Ross, he levels up. Level 8, oh, and that was a terrible level up. But his weapon level does increase, so it was kind of like a, like, eh, but then it was like, mm, not bad level up. Um, yeah, um, <sighs> this chapter is almost over. Even loot dodges, which I was very impressed with. 
and she kills the monster. Monster attack. Um, actually, I'm gonna say this right now. The next chapter, I would say, is the first difficult chapter. Is the first chapter where I would say, if you don't know what you're doing, you you could get in a little trouble, because there is a unit there which I would recommend a butt to uh, recruit. And unfortunately, he's actually pretty difficult to recruit. He really, really is. Just, uh, just for the fact of he has one weapon, and you need to recruit him with one character, and it's like character with that against that weapon. It's just like, wow, that's uh, that's crap. <laughs> All right, you don't know. You probably don't know what I'm doing. What I'm doing here is I'm basically bringing. Ross over to smash the uh, this guy called an entombed, basically the leveled up version of uh, Revenant. Revenant, not difficult at all. And right in here, I'm like, oh well, the Iron Axe maybe, you know, maybe I could double him. And luckily, I didn't do that because I could not double him actually. He, you'll see in a second. I go, hey. Uh, my, that's a weight of 10, and my speed's 4. Yeah, I can't double, so I'm gonna stick with a hatchet, park him in the forest, which doesn't actually help, but I thought it might. I'm gonna bring reinforcements. He's gonna park himself not in the forest, luckily. And this is an, an increased called the Fetid Claw. Very difficult, or very good, but my strength is so good, and because he's a zombie, I can double him. So it's kind of like, maybe eh, I don't care, actually. So, I'm going to bring Mulder to heal for one of his final healings in the game. Thank you very much, Mulder. You healed very well, but now I think you are going to be useless. And I have a uh, Ross, I'm like, hmm, I'd rather have two ch chances. Which is good. I kill him, gain another level. Level up. Level 9, we're almost done with him. And he gains no resistance, no speed, but he gains strength, and strength is one key. And here we go, we killed all the monsters. Yep. Yeah. Whew. That was, um, that was easy. <laughs> like I said, if you have trouble with that chapter, I'm sorry. The only, the only thing that would, was hard for me was that uh, when I was younger, loot would always die for me. And I would always be angry, because... Yo. Oh my gosh, what am I doing wrong that Luke just keeps dying on me? Well, let's just say I'm, I was crap. <laughs> and I beat the game, so that's sad. I'm not looking forward to certain chapters. Oh, oh god, no. Ah, oh, foul creatures. I Larchel. Larchel? Where are the monsters? Oh, well, we just finished them. Oh, let's rejoice. Why are you disappointed? I don't care. Oh, who the hell? Well, th that guy, oh, by the way, is awesome. But we're not going to use him. Uh, who? Oh, please introduce myself. She's the true and light of the sacred realm of... What? No. We, you keep saying her name. Jeez. Stop. Mm. <sighs> I'm pretty angry. <laughs> Dazla and Renick. I'll tell you right now. Dazla is that guy. And Rennick is that guy. Um, and here we go. The Empire's Reach. Um, so, and Zaha Woods. We're gonna manage our weapons, which doesn't matter because we really don't have anything to manage. The only thing I did was I. I don't. Yeah, I do it now. I'm going to supply Erica with another sword to make sure she has an extra one, because that steel sword's going to break soon. And that's basically it, I think. Uh, yeah. Um, so... That's it, and... We're going to save again. And we're going to go to Seraphew, finally! Jeez. So... Oh man, zombies everywhere. Zombies. Well, we're gonna let's journey to find some uh, people. Sure. All right. Okay.
Let's run. The Empire's Reach. Like I said, like I said before, this is I would consider the Oh no, there he is. That's him. That guy is gonna be your the bane of your existence. He really is. Because to recruit him is like Ugh, I don't know. He's just really difficult to recruit because you need to do certain things. You have to have every time I recruit him, you have to have one certain person go there and just have luck on your side. But yeah, and at the end, if I end, I can't wait because I finally get to show what I've been waiting for for a while. Yeah, I finally get to show you something called the arena abuse and I will show that later on and uh, probably in the next couple of ep oh, episodes and right now um, apparently that cleric we just saw is a traitor to the grotto empire and they have permission to kill her oh boy such loyalty yeah that guy does have a lot of loyalty to his emperor I tell you what and these guys are brothers, I guess. Cormog. Cormog is a, his, a wit. Um, oh, don't, don't. I don't like to spoil classes beforehand. It's just me. I, I mean, won't spoil that much, but I'd rather not spoil anything till you know. It's time to show you. Yeah. Very. Oh, basically, they're talking about how Seraphir used to be. A, the bo uh, it's on the border. Oh, who the hell are you? Indigo hair, young girl? No, sorry. Not yet. I mean, yeah, probably not for the next uh, 40, uh, 40 parts we won't see. I mean, what? <laughs> what? What's with the commotion? Stay tuned till next time. For oh, I'm joking. For now. I guess that that that's her um why what do you mean the emperor is not himself we should we should talk to this uh, cleric yeah I know right why would she be a traitor and she's blue man we did we just struck the jackpot I tell you what oh man I love this already all right See you. All right, guys. I'm gonna see you later for next.